Now, Gamco Trab, in partnership with the UNFPA country program, has distributed 6 million machines to support former circumcisers in Medina Kanuma village in the North Bank region. The initiative seeks to provide alternative and sustainable livelihoods for individuals transitioning away from the traditional practice of female genital mutilation, which remains a significant cultural issue in parts of the country. Beko reports. Female genital mutilation, a deeply rooted cultural practice, has been the focus of Gamco Traps campaign aimed at promoting its abandonment through education and economic empowerment. This latest initiative targets ex-circumcisers, providing them with the tools needed to support their communities in new ways whilst moving away from practices. Speaking at the launch of the initiatives, representatives of Gamco Traps Board of Directors stated that the provision of milling machines is designed to help former circumcisers transition to new roles in their communities whilst contributing to food production and local development. The chief of Jarawes, Yaya Jajusi, while delivering remarks on behalf of Gamco Trap, outlined the importance of sustainable employment in ensuring long-term cultural change. Community members and media and all chiefs, including the host chief, I express honor and gratitude on behalf of the Gamco Trap Board of Directors and staff and volunteers, highlighting the significance of this gathering as a milestone in ending female genital mutilation, FGM, and empowering ex-circumcisers with alternative livelihood, celebrating the effective effort that have raised awareness and empowering communities to protect women and girls' sexu sexual and reproductive health and right SRHR. The project target six communities, including Toro Alasan, Bakindek, and Tambana, with the aim of reinforcing the abandonment of female genital mutilation by offering economic alternatives. A representative from the UNFPA program office, Lamin Kamara, described the initiative as part of a broader effort to address harmful practices through environment. Um, tay ñom la ñoo sargal jox leen ay machine wolu kay yo xamne ñu ngi fi waye lool du lu gëna am solo ci ci ndajami man lu gëna am solo ci man moy euh jigen yo xamne ñom ci seen bopa tok nañ ñu gis ne euh pour euh pour euh ah xaak yelle fi pour taxawal ah xaak yelle fi xale jigen yi ñu tek euh ay jumtu kay yo xamne lool lañ doon jëfo pour euh yobu xale jigen yi ci alab Former Vice President of the Gambia and Chief Executive Officer of Gamco Trap, Dr. Aisha Touré, highlighted that the project was made possible with the support from the UNFPA country program. She added that empowering former circumcisers is a key strategy in sustaining the fight against female genital mutilation while promoting livelihood development in rural areas. Protected. Today marks the official launching of six milling machines in the North Bank region, a project made possible through the generous support of the UNFPA country program, as well as donor direct action frontline women. This initiative is part of our broader mission to create sustainable alternative employment opportunities for ex circumcisers and to support their transition from harmful traditional practices such as female genital mutilation to activities that uphold the dignity and well-being of girls and women right according to gamco trap this initiative marks the continuation of efforts to address female genital mutilation and promote socio-economic opportunities in affected communities reporting for star tv news i am baikor